Cease to live. It sure is boring around here. By the way, Obama's last. I get like STS Ghost. Something on this. You're so Portuguese. Smash. Screw you, I'm going to go play Minecraft. Oh my It's not like a spring ball anywhere. About it's common. There's our spring ball. Yeah. Medic. Bloody beat. <laughs> I don't want to. Repost if you dip your cock in the Wendy's Frosty. No. So cold. Why is it so cold? Oh, up your ass! Maybe this will help. <laughs> I don't like your that. Oh, this is doing a shit in my This cat is burning me alive.
<laughs> you're so Portuguese. Stairway to heaven? Yeah, bitch! <laughs> Inside you there are two wolves. Both are gay. Uh, there's more. Oh, oh, now oh, become oh, oh. Holy shit. Mark up freak. Freaky plier. <laughs> bing bong ding dong, here comes my ding dong! <laughs> Freaky plier. Girl! You mean you don't got balls? You know, oh. women aren't real. Oh, hey, Pitch, right. can you explain how women, uh, women aren't real again? What? <laughs> hey, Pidge, are women real? A trustworthy source tells me that women are not real. The kid tells calls. Ah! It's not upon the. Eyes that glimpse the. Yeah, will be blinded by the. Please. Date eight. What's up, my cranky crew? Tanker, give me C four. Uh, C four. Oh. Give me C four. No, 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 no. Oh, prize king. Call like us that. daddy. Ah, <laughs> security puppet. Lefty. <laughs> Lefty is No, this is a play. Boys have bussies, oh, don't worry, girls not, have I'm girl bussies. Yeah, bitch. You're going to have to bring that shit to me because I'm, 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 I'm literally frozen. Me, I'm the frozen. Me, I ordered plastic dead. explosives. Shut the fuck up. I ordered it. Hit it oh, you're talking about th th that kind of C4. Yeah, it was the frozen guy who ordered that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now I get to the point. What? Fuck, no. I can't get it. Hold on, hold on. You can, like, carry this shit, like, this, right? Hold on. Let me just test. Oh, you can't carry that stuff. So, uh... Okay, never mind, you already got it. Okay, good. I was gonna have to carry it to you. Uh, yeah. Now I can look at a tank while I'm frozen like a big thing. I like your loadout, by the way. That actually reminds me of the loadout I had before um, I quit the first time. I was like all green with military shit, and I had bomber souls for everything. Oh! Incoming! Wicked! <laughs> you moved it over here.
America's newest land battleships prove their power on the testing ground. Call General Lee's, in honor of the South's famous Civil War leader, they're rated by ordnance experts as more powerful than anything their size. The entire U.S. lost what, 1,400 tanks of all sorts in Western Europe. For something that blew up if a German looked at it sideways, they lost one-sixth as many tanks as, let's say, the Germans built Panthers. But, you may have noticed in the past couple of years, there's been a change in narrative. And recently, a lot more credit has been given to Allied equipment, especially the Sherman. Capable of plunging through streams up to the driver's hatch, the all-welded monsters roll on like giant living amphibians. In fact, the Sherman ticks a lot of these boxes here that we've been talking about previously. It was easy to mass produce, it was a fairly capable vehicle, and was able to be used on all fronts, from the steppes of Russia to the jungles of Southeast Asia. It's been really nice to see the Sherman's reputation revamped by historians in recent years after the tarnishing it took from the book Shall Not Be Named. Sherman's were not death, they were very, very good pieces of equipment. and performance figures are a military secret, but there are plenty more where these came from. Chances are, if you've decided to click on this video, you like tanks, or at least have a minor interest in them. And chances are, if you know anything about tanks, you've heard of the Sherman, or have at least seen it somewhere. It's a pretty recognizable tank, easily one of the most famous American tanks ever made next to, I don't know, the Abrams, and definitely one of the most recognizable tanks of World War II. Well, you see, I really like the Sherman. Kind of always have. Despite what impressions you may have gotten from my last tank video, I'm not aware of it. And I try my best not to completely suck any one country's dick for too long. But I mean, 20 bucks is 20 bucks, and Wearaboos are more than willing to throw out hot dollars to get me to talk pretty about their precious tiger. But my true allegiance is to the Sherman. Until very recently, I thought I had a pretty good understanding of the history of the Sherman and its variants, and felt very confident telling other people all about them, as if my word was gospel. Okay. But I always had a few questions I was never man enough to find the answers to. After all, War Thunder would teach me all I needed to know about the Sherman, right? I mean, they have almost every variant. I'm pro it's all right here at my fingertips. Like I need to but kill myself. I still had my doubts, and I finally decided to do some proper digging around with the Sherman, and discovered something miraculous. 
I realized I knew nothing about the many variants of the Sherman. My life was completely turned upside down, and I fell into a deep depression for many, many months. I didn't eat anything. I didn't drink anything. I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't even play XCOM 2 to relieve my stresses like I usually do, because they updated the mod launcher and now half of my Star Wars mods don't work anymore. I was at my breaking point, and I didn't even try to cope. I just buried my head in the sand like an ostrich during a thunderstorm and tried to deny my failure. But it was no use. So, eventually, I got my head out of the sand and buried it in knowledge. Just a heads up, I have a job. I get paid money to do things at my job. However, I have a lot of free time at my job. Knowledge. I have access to the internet at my computer, and I can access my Google Drive from said computer. So, I did what anyone would do at their job when they have free time, and I sunk hours and hours of it researching the Sherman. I'm not joking here. I literally spent every free second I had doing the research for this video, writing this script, and just building this video in my head. It took me weeks of non-stop, passionate work, and I've loved every second of it. It's moments like this that reinforce in my head that tanks are my true passion. Sitting before you now, recording this voiceover in my pajamas, I feel enlightened. The Sherman God himself has descended upon me and given me the Ten Commandments. And so, I have created this video to pass that knowledge on the wall. Any questions you could ever have regarding the Sherman and its many variants will be answered in this video. And trust me when I say, my intel is... Many of you may have clicked on this video mere tank perusers, a casual viewer and enjoyer of tank. Some of you may already be grizzled veterans, but I can guarantee all of you will leave this video better than men. Or women, I don't. The knowledge I'm about to bestow upon you will be priceless, and you will be granted the honor of passing it on to your friends, who almost certainly don't care and will just pretend to listen. Either way, your life will this video. ever change. Hello everybody, my name is Edit320, and this is a slightly confusing guide to the Sherman tank. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into this. Now, before we can explain the Shermans, we have to understand them. I used to think I had a...